Hey you guys, welcome back. Um, this week I'm taking a look at the Browning Synergy. Um, the one I have is a Synergy Black Ice, which has the black plastic furniture. Um, but the um, I've not handled one of the wood ones, um, and I'm not sure, but it may actually fix some of the problems with this gun, having a bit of wood on there. Um, let's get to it. We'll start with um, what you get with the, uh, the Synergy, because this is such an interesting gun, I want to spend a little bit of time talking about the engineering. We'll start with the uh, what you get with it, and then we'll talk about the oily bits. In the box, which is a, um, as usual, a black plastic Negrini um, ABS case, you get a set of um, these Midas chokes. Um, you get three triggers with um, differing widths and um, handedness. You get um, the interchangeable front bead system. You get um, some uh, interchangeable combs so this gun is actually straight has no cast at all but you get a left-handed right-handed and a straight comb um, this can also be adjusted to give you both height and cast uh, and then you get some spacers and some um, recoil absorbing butt plates you get a, two of those so that you can change the length of pull of the gun loads of adjustability built in um, lots of toys and at the price point i think it's about 1700 quid i've seen one of the latest models for um, with wood um, it's, it's not a bad value proposition. You certainly get enough um, bits and bobs for a gun at that price point. Um, it has mechanical triggers and the trigger pulls are pretty good. Um, I've not had any issues per se with this gun other than the sort of glaring problem with the Synergy, which is the, uh, the plastic ones, for all the adjustability, don't come with any form of stock weighting system. And as a result, um, they tend to be really barrel heavy. Um, I've not handled, as I said, one of the ones with the wood furniture. It may be that with a bit of wood on, it's a bit better balanced. But this is a very light gun too. Um, this thing, I've just weighed it, is exactly seven pounds. However, because of the barrel heaviness of the, the sort of intrinsic design and the, the synergy, it actually handles pretty well uh, for a light gun, surprisingly so. Um, it definitely has a, an unusual feel to the shoulder. It's very, very quick at the back end because there's no weight at all. Um, so you can definitely sort of shift it around. But having that barrel weight um, has actually meant it sort of rescued it from feeling too wand-like, which is definitely a trait I tend not to get on with. Obviously, the gun is empty. Um, we've got 28-inch um, tubes on this, which I think is probably about the best bet to not um, be too barrel heavy. Um, we've got a um, ventilated uh, top rib with a center tram line with a, a nice taper. As I said, the interchangeable front beads, Midas chokes. The plastic forend with these rubber um, side plates here is, is, is actually quite tactile. It's quite nice. It's a sort of a semi-futuristic uh, schnabel shape. Um, the stock itself, as I said, is a, um, a straight-handed um, uh, stock with a, a nice pistol grip. No palm swell to speak of, but you do get these rubber um, inserts again. And to be honest, for all it's very, very straight and very, very slim, it does give a really good positive grip and a great reach to the trigger. The top lever is a sort of quite slimline fellow with a little gold browning logo. And um, all in all, it's a very handsome package. When I first started shooting, this is absolutely the gun that I wanted. When I, when I didn't know nothing about guns, um, I saw a picture of one of these and I thought, wow, I've got to have one of those because it was so different, so interesting and so sort of sleek. I think it looks like a sports car. Um, Unfortunately, I then handled one <laughs> when I was sort of looking at guns and I ended up by, I think I had at the time I had a 682 Gold. Um, I picked one of these up and I seen one second hand and I immediately put it back on the rack. That barrel heaviness was immediately apparent as soon as I picked it up. Um, this one with it being 28 inch actually handles really well. Um, the really interesting stuff about the Synergy, of course, is the engineering. Browning 100% chucked away the rule book when they designed this gun and they made something that is definitely very, very interesting, but I think maybe necessarily due to its popularity in the market, and it's definitely a Marmite gun, uh, it's perhaps destined to be a bit of a footnote. I don't know. Um, the action design is really, really quite interesting. So if we pop this thing together, you'll see, if I take the fore end off, that on the barrels here, we've got this plastic um, cladding, I guess, or it sits in between the... Uh, the, uh, the tubes and it acts as a sort of mating surface for the forend to attach to and it does give a very very neat fit but when we open the gun is when things get quite interesting so um, as you can see there's a, a large hemispherical cutout in the monoblock and that's actually how the gun joints uh, this sort of camming surface 
is mated to a similar camming surface in the action fences and as such this gun doesn't really have um, like stub pins, the, 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 the hole of the action fence is that, that bearing surface. Um, lock up is achieved by a pair of pins that protrude from the breech face and mate up with these cutouts in the bottom barrel and as such sort of semi traditional in that way. Um, pop it back together um, you can see this thing which looks like almost like you would have on a normal gun where you've got a, um, a stub pin is actually where the forend attaches he says. And there we go. Um, the aesthetics of this gun we have a, um, a very very simple um, quite futuristic looking laser etched engraving with the, uh, the synergy in gold. I think it's very attractive it's got a sort of tri-lobed um, feature in it um, and then the uh, synergy sporting on the bottom and overall I still think it's a pretty package. Whether or not you do is very much down to your uh, tastes I think. The original gun when it first came out had a hogs back stock which seemed to attract a lot of women doing an R ring. Uh, the modern ones are much straighter uh, and the newest sort of ones they're still making these that, that are, come with a, a different engraving pattern and uh, I think uh, the wood uh, furniture is a bit more common. Um, handling impressions, as I said, I'm not a fan, having just given the 725 um, at seven and a half pounds um, a less than favourable review. This thing at seven pounds is rescued with the 28 inch tubes by its barrel heaviness, but it is it is a light gun. I think it would make a cracking pigeon gun. Um, I think it would make a somewhat non-traditional but very very sort of weather happy um, game gun um, but I don't know um, as I said that it's it's you get a lot of toys for your money but I'm sort of torn as to whether or not I would actually have one I have heard and obviously I get these guns for a week or two weeks to test um, and I only get them for that time and I, I sort of call them as I see them um, but I have definitely heard some reliability issues with these guns long term. Um, in terms of them holding their money they do seem to sort of be reasonably bomb proof in terms of the um, what you'll end up paying for one second hand. I've rarely seen one of these below eight or nine hundred quid um, and they were originally around about eleven or twelve hundred new so they've not done too badly. Um, like I said the, the newer one at seventeen a little bit more expensive um, but if you're getting a bit of wood on it and stuff it's perhaps a better value proposition. Overall I have enjoyed shooting it, um, it does handle quite nicely, it's very very quick um, and as I said for all um, it's only a seven pound gun that barrel heaviness definitely gave it just enough control that meant that it wasn't wand like. So in conclusion guys the Browning Synergy Black Ice a really marmite gun. I like the styling, I think it's pretty, a lot of people don't, but I think as, a, as an exercise in engineering it's really really interesting and it's very very different, but it's absolutely a gun that you must handle before you buy. I think you got to take one of these out and got to shoot it to figure out whether or not you're going to get on with it because it's so different from anything else. Um, I think in a 28 inch in this um, in this format it actually works but I think the longer barrel variants are just way too barrel heavy. As I've said I've not handled one of the wood ones um, it may be that that's really sorted it but right now my view is this is probably about the ideal package um, but it's still something that you must take out and, and give a try before you, you uh, make that decision. All right thanks very much for tuning in um, as usual please subscribe if you've enjoyed the content um, go take a look at Bywell's website and um, absolutely sponsor me on Patreon if, you, uh, if you're enjoying the, uh, the content. Um, thanks very much guys, see you next time.